Okay, so what's up with this Donald Trump, Vladimir Putin romance? It seems like a lot of the conservatives, including Steven Seagal, the martial artist, actor, and a lot of the conservative radio talk show hosts, have this thing for Vlad Vladimir Putin. Now, it seems to go against their professed love and devotion to democracy, to freedom, to the Constitution, to liberties and such, since Putin hardly embodies those values. Of course, a lot of their ad advocacy for those type of values is just, uh, I would say, just uh, a smokescreen for their, for whatever else they're trying to promote. And in this, I, the reason I believe that they're so infatuated with Vladimir Putin is that he represents the kind of leader they, they want themselves, that, or, that they, or that they want to be themselves, in the case of Donald Trump, for example. In my view, it's the classic love for the, for the strong man the authoritarian form of government that these people really espouse. And you, you know, you can see that in their lack of true understanding of our own constitution, of what really constitutes, or what really constitute freedom, liberties, the pursuit of life and happiness. They really don't understand that. And you can tell you can tell that by their rhetoric, by their, you know, in terms of the talk show hosts, what they discuss on their shows. You know, they, they would support things like waterboarding. They're not really for democracy as it's, as we know it today. They want something where they can get what they want done without having to discuss it or to have to vote on it. They want someone like Vlad who can get things done and, you know, a go-getter, you know, someone who doesn't have to deal with all the, you know, the, the paperwork, the discussion, the, the bureaucracy. He just tells people to get things done and that's it. And that's what, that's what they want. That's what they like. And specifically with regard to Donald Trump, he may have a, a business relationship with Vladimir Putin. And the conservative columnist George Will has suggested just that, that uh, Vlad and Donald Trump are tied together financially.